I'm Mrs. Corrupt Carnage here today and I'm going to be joining you for a special cooking episode. I'm going to be cooking a treat for you today called Anzac Biscuits, which is a favourite here in Australia, especially on Anzac Day, which for those of you that don't know is basically the anniversary of Australia and New Zealand Army Corps landing in Gallipoli during the war and basically a tribute to any of our armed servicemen and people that have fought for our country. So I've got my ingredients all lined out here for you. I'm going to go through those now. So we've got some rolled oats, and for this recipe we're going to be using a cup of those. We've got some desiccated coconut, which is going to be three quarters of a cup. We've got some caster sugar, which we're going to use half a cup. We've got plain flour which we're going to be using one and a quarter cups of. Now the recipe usually calls for golden syrup or treacle, which we just need two tablespoons, but I'm out at the moment, so I'm just going to be substituting with some honey. But for those of you Canadian American fans, you can probably use maple syrup. I imagine that would taste awesome as well. Uh, we've got some bicarb soda here, which is half a teaspoon. And then of course some unsalted butter, which I've just got an olive oil spread or basically any kind of... Um, butter substitute should do margarine anything like that and of the butter we're going to be using 150 grams we also just need a little bit of water for the recipe so we can get that from the tap now I'm going to gather up all my ingredients and start taking you through the method but first of all what we need to do is preheat the oven to 180 degrees so we're going to pop on over to the oven and do that one now so what do we want 180 degrees, you guys can see Rango, the puppies, everyone loves the puppies. Just popped his tail in front of my video. And switch that one on. Right, I'm going to grab these ingredients and pop them together and take you through how to do this bad boy. Here we are, I've got all our ingredients up ready to go. So first of all, in a bowl, I'm just going to pop all the dry ingredients, excluding the bicarb soda, because we're going to use that bad boy in a minute. Um, so they are just, we're just going to pop those aside for a second. Then what we're going to do is in a saucepan, we're going to pop our uh, golden syrup, treacle or substitute and our butter. And what we're going to do is we're going to pop those onto the stove on low heat and stir until melted. So we're going to take that over there now. Pop that one on low heat. Alrighty, and we're just going to mix this bad boy until it is all melted down. And I'll be back with you when I've got that ready. So I've got my butter and my syrup mixture here all melted down on low heat ready to go. So what we want to do is we want to take that bicarb that we didn't add, add to the dry ingredients earlier. We're going to mix that up in a bowl to the side. Whoops, just lost my spoon. Uh, we're going to mix that up ready to go with one and a half tablespoons of water. So we're going to take this over to the stove. We're just going to take this one off the heat because of, because the mixture is going to bubble and stir uh, when we add the bicarb soda to it. So we're going to take the saucepan off the heat. There. And we're going to add this mixture to it and stir through it. And then I'll pop back with you when I've done that. I've got my mixture here with my butter and my syrup. And now I've added the bicarb and the water to it. And what we're going to do now is add this to the dry ingredients. So we're going to take this back over here where we've got our dry ingredients. Pop that one in the bowl. And then we're going to grab a wooden spoon and just mix this one all up until it's all combined. So I'll pop back you with you when that's all done. Alrighty, so I've got my wet and my dry ingredients all mixed up here together in a bowl. Now, with this recipe, you do want a slightly sticky mixture. And what we're going to do is roll these into balls and place them in the oven ready to bake. Um, if your mixture is a little bit too wet, you can add some extra flour to it, just a little bit by little bit, until it gets a bit more dry. Um, so what we're going to do is we're, I'm going to roll these up into balls. I'm going to pop them onto a baking tray lined with non-stick baking paper and then we're going to pop them into the oven and bake them. So I'm just going to roll them up now and pop them on the baking sheet and then I'll give you a squeeze before I pop them in the oven. Now you can see here um, I'm back and I've got my mixture all rolled up into balls ready to pop in the oven. Now I've just flattened them out a little bit on the top just because they are biscuits. We don't want them in total little round little balls. Uh, now you might notice my mixture looks quite small. You will get a lot more biscuits out of this mixture. I've just made a half batch because I just wanted to do a demo for you guys today. 
I'm also trying to watch my weight, um, and if I had made the whole recipe, I would literally devour all these biscuits as soon as the, they come out of the oven. They're that good. So we're just going to check that our pre-light, uh, preheat light has gone off on the oven. Yep, we are all ready to go. So we're going to pop these in for 12 minutes until or until golden brown. Just keep an eye on them because we don't want to end up with burnt biscuits. And I will pop back with you guys in a second with the final result. Ladies and gents, this is the final product of our Anzac biscuits. As you can see, nice and crispy and golden brown right on the 12 minute mark. So perfect there. Now... These are scrumptious, I tell you. I cannot wait to get into them, and I'm sure you will too. Now, please remember to like, favorite, and subscribe. And if you like the hell out of this video, hopefully I will make another guest appearance on the channel. Thanks for joining me. Bye.